Hello everyone, Darko2012 here with Global Government News. I'm covering a very small, brief blog type article from the mainstream online news and is titled Rash of Video Footage Incriminates Lawmakers and Police. And so without further ado, I'm going to go to that video. Now to unbelievable video of a Seattle police officer caught on tape punching a 19-year-old girl in the face. Police officials say they're reviewing the officer's use of force, but the widely circulated video has sparked a nationwide controversy. And Neil Karlinski has more. You're watching a Seattle police officer try to subdue a woman he says grew hostile after he tried to question her for jaywalking. He says she pulled away from him and refused to listen. But watch what happens when her 17-year-old friend gets in the middle of it and tries to free her from the officer's grip. Watch again in slow motion. The officer winds up and punches the teenage girl directly in the face. Community leaders say it is a move that wasn't justified. The provocation of the 17-year-old may have presented a confrontation situation. But the use of violence in the form of a full-blown fist to the face was wrong. Seattle police are now using this tape as part of their investigation. They say officers can use a punch to restrain an unruly person. But they're not necessarily backing the officer's actions. We do have some concerns about the tactics that the officer used and he employed at the time. Force never looks good. It, it never is, It's never pretty. Um, and, and so you have to obviously take into context everything that occurred. Law enforcement officials say the situation was a tough one. They need to talk to this officer about, did you go through all of the appropriate steps to de-escalate this before you attempted to arrest them? They are going to make their officers more sensitive to these type of situations. Both women were taken into custody. The officer involved has been transferred to a unit where he'll receive more training while police investigate and review their own procedures for making arrests. For Good Morning America, Neil Karlinski, ABC News, Seattle. And reaction has really been mixed, and so we'd love to hear what you have to say about this. Go to our shout-out board at abcnews.com. And there you go, folks. Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard for me um, when I'm doing a screencast um, here with these articles to get video quality to be very good. Uh, sometimes... A lot of times the video uh, doesn't match the audio when I do that, but I think you get the gist of it, and that's my aim. Um, so, yeah, the officer is going to receive, quote, training, you know. Yeah, okay, whatever. But, uh, you know, I was watching it, and I was trying to put myself in the police officer's shoes, and uh, in a certain, uh, I guess, in you know, certain uh, circumstances, yeah, like he said, it doesn't look pretty when you punch somebody. Uh, as a cop, just everything looks like p police brutality. But um, yeah, it's kind of a hard way to. It's a, it's kind of hard to look at this because it's a black. It's a white cop with hit punching a uh, black. It's a white male cop punching a black female. I mean, that's just nowadays. That you're just asking for. Um, you know what I'm saying? And if it was a. I don't know. Maybe I'm going. On, maybe I'm just kind of assuming here. But if it was a, if it was a, a white cop, uh, you know, a white male cop punching a male dude, it, a white male, it probably wouldn't be a big deal. But because it's a black female, it is a big deal. Um, you know, and with situations like this, there's really no way to get through and navigate through. Um, things that things such as this events such as this without it being racial right so um my take on this whole thing is like i said it's very hard to like take a side or something because you don't know the full facts of the of the story but uh you know i don't really care much for cops um i don't think they protect us so in that sense I, I don't want to do what this article in that video is kind of uh, pushing the viewers towards, which is you want to, at one point, just hate on the cop because if you're like me, you don't really care for police too much or, 
you know, uh, military uh, on the streets and that. So we're keeping a lookout. We know that the cops are becoming more and more um, uh, infringing on our on our just personal space and our liberties, and uh, they're a lot more fascistic in their handling of the slaves. But uh, also, you don't want to get put in this corner where you're advocating the police, the police state, to exercise their fist, right? Literally. You don't want to take the side and be like, well, you know, it was justified, you know. You got to, if you are someone out there that says, oh, you know, I'm not a racist, whatever, well, you know, just look past all that and say, you know, it's not about racism, it's about tribalism, it's about growing up and uh, having it te taught to you and uh, just basic uh, survival, I guess, mechanisms where you kind of tend to herd, uh, keep closer to the people who look like you and speak like you for just security reasons, and there's nothing wrong with that. But you don't want to get swept into these corners, into these boxes, and you know, put into a box and labeled um, this or that, black or white. Um, because, like I said, with a with a story like this, you know, you can be like, well. I don't know. I guess the you know the cop did kind of you know, he kind you know he he was he was doing right and he was doing okay and and you know they're just doing their job. So um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. You just don't want to get on either side. Just look at it and get from it from what you will. But I already know that I don't like cops and I've already said that. So um, I don't think they're getting any better as far as respecting people and their privacy and that. I had my own little uh, situation uh, while I was out on the West Coast in Oregon in a, sm in a small city where I got pulled over and got searched uh, for no reason. I consented to the search, but uh, luckily I didn't get a fist to the face. But maybe that was because I was white and they were white. But, you know, uh, I just took a quick break there, and I, something just occurred to me. This is over jaywalking this whole thing was over jaywalking one of those misdemeanor crimes that uh, are codes right that are uh, that these street cops I guess they enforce them I always was under the assumption being in the Midwest that that uh, that, that the, the, the police out there in California and that in Seattle they don't actually enforce these laws these uh, jaywalking laws but that's what they said so uh, my the, my uh, take on that would be either A, they're white-gloving in order to collect revenue because the state is going broke, or B, this cop is racist, right? That's what it pretty much comes down to. This guy is actually doesn't ever really enforce the law, and eh, you know, he's kind of a shorter white guy, and maybe he's got some kind of complex. I guess he's a black girl, and maybe he just wants to bust her to fuck with her, but... Uh, or it is, you know, they're being told to write more tickets. So, I guess it's not as stupid as that. This last video is uh, about a congressman. Uh, Walsh footage is the latest in a series of incidents catching public figures in questionable and at times legally suspect conduct. In one of the more formal such encounters, Democrat Bob Etheridge apologized after video surfaced of the North Carolina lawmaker reacting angrily to questions from two young men holding a camera. Hi, Congressman. How are you? Do you fully support the Obama agenda? Who are you? 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 I'm here for a project, sir. Tell me who you are. We're just here for a project, sir. Tell me who you are. We're just here for a project. I don't care about Please let go of my hand. Tell me who you are. I'm just a student, sir. From. We're just students. That's all we are. I have a right to know who you are. Sir, sure, I'm All we are is students. So am I. Who are you? Who are you? Please let go of my arm, sir. Who are you? Sir, 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 please. Congressman, sir. Please let go of me. Who are you? Okay. You're a slave. Who are you? If you support the state and you support fuckers like...